Hey everybody, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, we are March the 17th, 2020. And that means we are roughly about a week and a half away from, a little more, from the um, change in schedules. Shortwave schedules change twice a year, and we are close to being at the a twenty schedules so what does that mean that means that um, not this weekend but next weekend that is actually going to happen on Sunday March D so let's take a, a look at the calendar here Sunday March 29th so um, about a week and a half from now we will be at the new a20 schedules so the A20 schedules, you know, a lot of stations, we already know where they are because a lot of stations use the same frequencies year after year after year. But there's a lot of unknowns that are a lot of stations that have new frequencies. We don't know where they are. And before all the regular updates, you know, all the websites that we use are updated, there's still a place where we can actually have a peek. So HFCC, which is the High Frequency Coordination Committee, is of course where all stations will submit all the frequencies they want to use and times to try to prevent a clash when the new uh, schedules happen. So the public data file for A20 is now available. I'll post the link to this website in the description below, below the video. You have this file here called A20AllX2.zip. This is updated regularly. So this means what you have now will be different in a few days and next week. They update it regularly at this time. But it contains what stations think will be their transmission schedules for the summer season of North America or Northern Hemisphere or winter season for the Southern Hemisphere of what we call the A20 schedules, the first schedules officially for 2020. So the link is in the description below the video. If you need to check out what stations are on the air and what frequency they use, you'll be able to do so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.